Good morning, everybody. I wanted to take a few minutes and talk about autism. And I'm an engineer, and I've been doing some research on my own for the past three years. And it's um, led me to some correlations that I want to share with you between uh, locations of a high power density of microwave radiation and autism clusters. So if you look in front of you, I've got a map, um, I'm showing Google Earth, and I have a map of California area. And I'm going to turn on an autism cluster. And this cluster was identified by Columbia University um, just um, a few years ago. And it was based on the years 1993 through 2001. Uh, the, the study was actually published, I think, around 2000, 2010. So anyway, this shows a very stable cluster of autism around the Los An northern Los Angeles area, Hollywood Hills, Santa Monica. And the, the colors show areas that have been stable for at most two years, three to four, five to seven. So you can see it's centered around Hollywood Hills. So in my research, I've been doing basically spatial mapping, looking for correlations. And, and one thing that um, struck me is that that area actually happens to be the entertainment capital of the world and also the broadcast capital of the world. In other words, it's got the most uh, high gain broadcast antennas of any place that I've mapped. So I'm going to go ahead and first turn on, um, these are satellite microwave broadcast earth stations in blue, and you'll see that um, these high gain antennas, they're actually uh, broadcasting up to satellites, and the satellites are in geostationary orbit above the earth, and they're a focused dish but they're high gain, so they're very focused like a flashlight. And although their individual power is very low, it's fairly low, 270 watts, that's less than your microwave oven, they focus it into a high uh, focus beam like a flashlight and point it up at the satellite. And most of the frequency ranges are 6 gigahertz, up to about 14 gigahertz for these antennas. So, so in blue again, here's a four gigahertz antenna. You'll see that that area actually has the highest concentration in that part of California of these uh, broadcast satellite earth stations. Uh, you'll also see some high gain, high power pulsed radars, and that's LAX Airport. It actually has a couple of those um, radars, and this is just a, a local navigation radar. So you can see that the autism cluster uh, wraps LA Airport north to Santa Monica into Hollywood Hills. That area actually has three very busy airports, Bob Hope, airport is up here. It has another 1.3 million watt pulsed radar. And again, these are all fairly high gain. The airport antennas are, are actually lower gain than the satellite antennas. So that's the first thing I want to show you. Now, the other thing is you're not actually seeing all the antennas. Google Earth actually overlaps them and doesn't show them to you. So what I'm going to do is just I, I made another um, icon and when I overlay it over the top, it allows me to explode the area and so that you can see all the antennas in the area. And so now I just click on it, and now you get an idea. That, actually, that area actually has, I think, 224 of these high-gain broadcast earth stations, and it has three or four high-power, high-gain pulsed microwave radars. So you can see that they, they line up very well with the autism cluster. Now, one thing I want to mention is, of course, all these parabolic 
high gain dishes are pointed at the atmosphere. But if you read up on some other research, depending on what the atmosphere is doing, whether you've got storms or fog or rain, uh, a lot of that radiation gets refracted or bent and reflected back to the earth. So on clear days, a lot of it propagates through the atmosphere, but on cloudy, wet, damp, stormy, foggy conditions, a lot of that electromagnetic radiation will reach the ground. So, so that area has a high power density of microwave radiation in the atmosphere, uh, all between 6 to 14 gigahertz. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is the Federal Communications Database uh, contains all the AM, FM, TV stations. And if I turn on the broadcast microwave relay towers, then you'll see that area also. And I'm going to turn, go ahead and turn off the first stations. You can see that that area also has a super high concentration of microwave antennas. And most of these antennas, it is a one gigahertz tower, but a lot of these are in the same, here's a 13 gigahertz antenna. Now, many of these microwave towers are relay towers. They're relaying microwave radiation from studios that are broadcasting up to uh, large antennas located on the remote mountain a few miles away. Uh, but again, that's all uh, radiation. And again, those are many of those are parabolic dishes, and they are beaming up to this remote uh, antenna. So you you got your studios broadcasting uh, to remote antennas, and so that area also has the highest focus concentration of those microwave relay towers of any other place I've looked at. Um, so it's it's got a combination of both and it happens they happen to line up very well with the center of that autism cluster. And again, Google Earth doesn't show you all the antennas, you have to actually explode them. And I'm going to go ahead and adjust the location. I, I just put this icon and I, I move it over it. And then that allows me to explode all the antennas. And I can do this in the other areas. and It's um, much less. Um, I actually, uh, if you read the research paper I put out, it's um, for the... Earth stations, it's about a 224 to 48 ratio. It's about a almost a 5 to 1 ratio between the different areas. You can see in here, we just got a, we've got a few. So by far, this area of Hollywood Hills has the highest um, power density, which is watts per meter squared, of microwave radiation um, anywhere I've looked at, actually, across the U.S., and it also happens to have one of the highest autism rates in California. So, so this is showing cor high correlation. It doesn't necessarily mean causation. In other words, just because something is correlated doesn't mean it's causing it. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you it is causing it. Now, there's been uh, a few good research papers written in the last few years that actually uh, point to electromagnetic radiation as a potential cause of autism uh, because of the um, symptoms. So, um, you know, basically I want to make that uh, point that um, what I'm showing here is correlation between an autism cluster and high power density of microwave radiation. And so if I turn all, both the relay towers and my broadcast stations on, you can see the, the density. And then if I go ahead and turn on my, and I'm gonna move it again here. Right. 
you, you get a really good feel here for the uh, power from all of those antennas. And like I said, even though their parabolic dish is pointed up at the sky, uh, the sky reflects and refracts and bends the radiation and scatters it. Um, and that's how radars work. They, they bounce and reflect radiation off the atmosphere and off airplanes. And that's the last thing I'll point out in the area because of the heavy air traffic of airplanes from Los Angeles Airport, Santa Monica Airport, and Burbank. Uh, this radiation reflects off the planes, off the wings, off the fuselage because it's metal and it's highly reflective surface. So that just adds to the amount of reflected radiation. So, so anyway, that's what I wanted to show everybody. Again, I'm just showing a correlation in the area and, and I think it's strong enough that it should be investigated. And I've passed the information on to researchers and, and it is, uh, at least they're, I've made them aware of it. Let me put it that way. And, and so that's about all I can do as an engineer is, is try to look what in the environment uh, could be causing it. And some of you may be aware that the autism rate in the country is up to about one in 45 children. So, um, I've got these maps on my uh, research blog uh, at darkmattersalot.com and I'll post a, a note um, on the video on YouTube. So thanks for your time and